everyone. So a new Tommy Con Count free on Tarak here. La Martino Diran Kyung does the um Dante Ta air on Screwdo Hard Teste. Um air have on so Screwdo Don uh Ard Level Ayas Gana Level. Um so Tommy Con Del Dirk Stockery on on the Naughty Eggs with Mushin. So let's stand right. So Tommy Con, I'm just going to read out the poem for you, nice and clearly. Um, and uh, as you can see, I have a few um highlighted words here. We on Tarak here when you're reading the poem, it's very very important that you have a big emphasis on the shavu. Okay, shavu and aru are literal throughout this poem, and it's very very important that you are able to kind of emphasize the use of the shavu and the uru um, as you're reading the poem. Luckily, you don't have to read all four verses for the oral exam. You only need to read two. The issue is, which two could you be asked? So you could be asked one and two, or two and three, or three and four. So my biggest recommendation when you are learning this poem is to do it when you're practicing. Instead of reading the whole four, practice it in their twos. So practice reading verse one and two together. Then practice reading two and three together, and then practice reading three and four together. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the whole way through the poem because I, I could be here all day if I was going through everything with you. So I'm just going to read the whole way through the poem and um, we can move on then to the next slide. All right, so unto rock here, the Martin O'Diron, fire a granite cray, the Rimshon Spodge, the Gunas Have and Mrochle, bin on Uam. Sana rock here. Far a cahoch, clear of is on Amon Yarog, a glunru, a dahin of grana, a warning vaughn, near rock and ryark, sana rock here. Mana a lochon in eoctor deal craw, a goatee cropper, a scarly heath fuhu, tob ryark sheetok, sana rock here. Tolvuli fauna. A muddy rava, Korak lawn ashk, a tucked concladic, a over veil near a lay, sent a rock here. So, just a small bit about Martin O'Diaran. Um, he would be considered one of the most famous Irish poets, in particular for Irish writing, and um, is studied not only for the insert, but is also studied in college as well for his poetry. Uh, one of his most famous poems with on track here is a poem called Fleece of a Yuritsa, which has a very similar um, themes and similar ideas behind it as um, as on track here would have. So it's like long Fleece of a Yuritsa would be like kind of um, the break I would receive, okay, or the, it's like a breath of fresh air. And he's talking about his home place, and he's a lot of use of nod door uh, in his poetry. So that's something to just keep in mind as you're going through, and it's something that I would recommend that you look up, just so you kind of become accustomed with the the different types of poetry that are that he writes and stuff like that, and kind of the common trends that he uses. So Rug Martin of Dieran simply in Nedu de in Inishmore and on Orange, so he was born in 1910. In uh, Inishmore on the Aran Islands, Tasha Roth, Egalandini, Gerbe, O Diron, Kyungus, Nephilius, Tarbuk T, O Aaron Reov. I've run a little spelling mistake on Reov, it's R I A N H. Uh, Norvi Martin, Eg Fasinius, and Tain Chang Evega, Nogwega, August Dash Amias, a Gultor, August Ot Shimpli. Okay, so when he was growing up, um, he was, um, the only language he had was Irish. And he grew up in a very, very simple culture. And that's a culture that is kind of um, is brought up in his poetry. So that's something just to keep in mind as you're going through it. That like as you're going through his as you're reading his poetry, like he has a very kind of he has a very simplistic idea of life. And kind of everyone knows their role and everyone does things to help each other and stuff like that. And that's kind of like that can be seen in the atmosphere of his poem in particular. Uh, Vogel Diran Gakahar Nagalava, Agsvisha first time or starts her Vishok, Gahar Narvisha Okt Melina Dedi. So when O Diran was 18 years old, and um, he moved to Galway and was employed as a state um as a civil servant. Now Vogel Diran on be on sale on a defru. So when he moved to Galway, like for a man that was living on an Iron Island, the only thing he saw for 18 years was Iron Island. 
and like things were simple. So there was fishermen, there was farmers, and that was pretty much it. And now and everyone knows their role. Now he's after moving to Galway to work, and he's able, he's seeing this completely different life, and he's kind of overawed by it. And then a few years later, he moved to Balaclia, and knew that she was he wasn't ready for the very fast life and the fast-paced life of Dublin compared to, excuse me, compared to the Iron Islands and compared to, like, kind of what people were doing. Like, Joe, like, if he was in the Iron Islands, he could say hello to everyone. And, like, I suppose the best way to think of it is, like, imagine, like, if you live in a country place, all right, or if you live in, like, a little village or a little town, Imagine you were in that village for 17 or 18 years. You've never left the village. You've seen the same people. And you know what everyone does. You've seen the same kind of, the same type of people. Then all of a sudden you're dropped into the middle of Dublin city. Like the shock, you wouldn't know what's going on. You wouldn't know where what's happening. You wouldn't know where to go. You wouldn't know why people aren't as friendly. Because you're used to this kind of repeating pattern of life. And then well, that's what happened to Odiron. And then Ka Odion ran on Egg Machnov era Oiga, Egg Fosinese and Oran. I was taught a lawn de a quid filiop that bun her de fifty era sail na tuha, a gumpra de sail na kahrok. Okay, and he compares a lot of his poetry between life in the um in the city compared to life in the country. And he wrote many poems before he died in nineteen eighty eight at the age of seventy seven. Uh Kravog uh, would be one of them and there's a few more as well. So I just did a little save there for Elon Aaron. So I just take my little video, my the video of myself off there for a second, so you can see the notes. So to, I'm John. Should I sit there Elon in it's more? If you can see over here in the corner, um, you can see over here in the corner. Here we have Inish Or, uh, you have Inish Man, uh, Inish More then is here, and then like this is Galway Bay. So Cuan Nagalava is over here. So this is where. Um, or dear on lift. And then, so, is Steve Miltuk, I was Steve Nuk A, August of Spirit, and Trouble Gehintuk here in Ireland. Okay, so it is a very peaceful and calm um, setting. And we also see, like, Joe, like that everything is Tasha Kasula Nav. The place is like heaven. And that's the picture that Old dear on um, draws for us, really. Okay, so Old dear on draws this picture of, like, this. Never down, okay, heaven on earth. All right, it's Tasha Sita, Nakalesh, and Narga, and Otir Gulta. But like the setting that Odiron has created for us straight away kind of leads to us thinking, like, well, what else is here? Like, Johnny, this is an amazing area and stuff like that. So he creates once again this perfect picture. Um, so Priest Minty on Dawn, um, we have Tugan Martin Odiron, Kirshius, on Tanabuk, or Ganeha Eg Sula on Elon doing Sedan. Oscarine and Don the Hiva the Air Ig Obersi Gari, so Fair Ig Glanakre. Augusti Glanakre, the Aspad, Tarish Tamala Kahavi Gober. Ton Log, Han and Kuin, Augustine and Granis Spodja, Fuan Tahnabuk. I saw the great to see this, like the soothness, okay, this curious, the Shia Khan from the very beginning of the poem, okay. So, like, if we're looking here from the very beginning of the poem, like we have like Fair Ig Glanakre. The Rimshan Spaja, Sigumus Hay, those first three lines. Like, the place is so quiet that you can hear the spade being cleaned. You can hear the soil being cleaned off the this, this spade. If I said, Dohogunan, Phila, Pictor, Dun, the Ar Elai Gober, on Orsha Tai Kav Kishan, Famina, Dog Grim, so looking at verse number two, we see um, another man working. This time he has um, a basket where he's collecting the Amon Yaruk. But this type, this amen, okay, so seaweed, usually, like, no one really likes to feel a seaweed, like, or really likes a seaweed beach. Like, if you saw a seaweed beach, you'd be like, I'm not going, I don't want to go there. But this, this famine, okay, this seaweed is perfect. This is glistening in the sun. It's dark, it's jo it's ideal look. We get an evil ideal look, the winter, I guess, the sail on Elon. It's okay, verse Elon, so verse the tree in the third verse. Krohinsha Eva intuk the mana on Elon egg obras na luck on air law bra te. On ti the trata a goti crapa suis ag scali le fecal sinishka. Rayak ella a ta driuktuk ag shiakanta er fad. So once again we get a peaceful and magical image um, of the woman working in the lochan. 
okay, and the, the, the tide is out, their coat, the air crap, their, their coats are cropped up, and you can see the reflection. So, like, Joe, every, like I said in the earlier ones, uh, in my earlier slides, that, like, ODLM has come from a place where everyone has a role. Okay, we have Farrig on a cray, so, like, that's your farmer. You have um, Farrig Cockle Cleave Dog Grim. You have the Mana Lock On, and then you have the Toy Vully Fauna with the Madi Rava. And like so that's the verse number four where we're looking at the fer the the fishermen, the East Gree. Okay, and Tasbano Kalu and the East Gree talk the value, they're coming home, they're bringing this kind of um this jump, this kind of this heart rate, this like an Ardu Cree is what you would call it. Okay, so like an Ardu Cree would be like Joe, like it has risen, he has rose in the the sight of the fishermen coming home, like raises the heart of the uh, of the poets, and that's something, or of, raises the hearts of the people on the island because they know not only is there beer alone, but there's Arig alone from working um a a in the Galway, okay, working in the in in the in Galway Bay and stuff like that as well. So there are all things that we can really talk about and bring into your your answer. So just like faking there, Nate Yvonne and Anish, um, so I just moved my head again there for a second. I see like two kind of old pictures there of the Mona uh, in Lochan, and then you have like and the history that's on Kalak Lan the Ishk, and uh, well, they're just preparing, I suppose, and um, to head out. And there's like a very good um, YouTube video um, done by TG Kahar where they kind of give you an insight into the um, insight, insight into the life of the people on um, Ilan Aran and kind of like their way of life and how they kind of went to both things and stuff like that like it's very very good now I can't attach it here because it's like 25 minutes and you'll be here for the day but it's something maybe to look up after you watch this video and you'll find a nice link to it like definitely uh, so Shraddha Kara Eva Iksulis and Don Shot has fallen Gak Eva and Asma Bru Avir and Adini Fado August on Gra and Fila Da Aat Dukas okay so there's four um, main images in this poem Okay, and each image shows like the lack of pressure that was on people living in the area and the love that the poet has for the day for his home place. So one of the key things I would say is to bring up um like as much as you can is the word gra arte. Okay. Excuse me, so gra arte, um I'll just throw it up here for you. Now oh, excuse my spelling. Or well, not my spelling, but my writing. Uh, gra arte. Okay, so the long grow a Martino Diron uh da art hocus okay for his home place and for where he lived and so grow art is very very important because the majority of um Odiron's poetry is based on his love for the Ilan Oren okay for his love of place basically so kid verse to Eva on the Eremor and Mo in Azari a Karfati Bader and Rohle okay so in our first verse. We have our picture of a fair more um in what lay uh the diverse of living on fellow other traditions that says all look on Elon a car of clear and naculous and am and yellow or golding vaughn is even all the ear especially the line in a golding vaughn I'll probably get to in a second but like the the use of colors is very very important and like our golding vaughn we're able to picture this picturesque white beautiful beach that is being cleaned up of the famine yarrow, okay, of the red seaweed. At a shave and a hot, Karanul doing the Queenie Mwina Hoka on Philad and Sea, okay, and obviously we're able to, to picture the the area and kind of like if you were to close your eyes and just really understand the poem, like you can really draw the images that that Odiran puts into our heads because everything is so perfect. And like he has this like picture of perfection. Or a bit, an impressive kind of picture that we're able to get of his, from his memories of the area. Uh, Lily and Philip are more interested in spirit bubble and when the sail on Elon's a true verse. And just a point that I keep kind of reiterating and I keep bringing up really is the um, his use of the um, everyone having a role to roll egg and fair to roll egg and ban to the fair more in the history the fair a clear uh listen the clear of god grim we have the kishan we have the the manor look on and like egg over so everyone is egg over the kalogs and you have like spirit on fubble touch on a top of talk so don't show 
so there's a Dana Crohean on Fella Eva Arlen Dana Hiskari Egg Eskok Sekhorok Ton Faraga Veil Ton Bard Egg Takt Konkladig. Okay, and then obviously we have in our last image is the image of the farmers bringing the fish, bringing the money from abroad, from sea, okay, from Galway, from the, the rivers around them and bring them to the island for them all to share. So you have this kind of like the spirit on Fubble on, on a top. And then you have Fumna, so Fumna are the sounds in the poem. Usan and Dilan, Fumna occurring more the half act than done, and they're very, very important to he um the Fumna, the sounds in the poem. Kleshamid and Fumna, the Soler, she is true than done. We can hear the, the, the sounds clearly throughout the poem. Takunus shave, uh, Rem, Sikade, Versa, Maris, Federlin, Unfair, Clush, and the Glanacre. To Severus Talun and Buintlesh on Ilan, Ida Kahu and Talav. Okay, so like just that first line, like so like Far Eglana Cray, the Rimshan Sabarja, or Gunas Have and Mohale bin on Ulm and a rock here. So like <clears throat> the air the, the island is so quiet that you can hear the you can hear the soil being cleaned off of the shovel. You can hear the the kind of work that's going ahead and like everything is so peaceful and quiet that like it's just it's nearly like a picturesque it's a perfect area and this kind of idea of nav air down okay heaven on earth once again is brought up ta fulmina sho bin agus tull ni fulmina eid a vinik da shiak on the right so these and the sounds are not taken away from the beauty of the scenery of the island neil san um bin a yenter agus on spod a glana a gane bog allen a current less on wire. Clush me tull voli fawn and the muddy rave versa car a tack the severus nefariga and nish kohule fall on variga. So we have like an or more vowel, okay? So like you have like the golden sea and you have the tull voli fawn and like the sound of the oars coming in with excitement and the richness of the sea. And then you have like the, these are all fumna derfaka, okay? These are all positive sounds. That Odiran uses and Fumna Lerin sail tradition to Shint Bli on Elon. And these are all sounds that like kind of represent the, the simple traditional life on the island. And then atmosphere, so atmosphere as well, very, very important. Then atmosphere is something that like we kind of talk about is like Mohina Lerhor, uh Shevag Sunis on Teals and Elon, Mission Atmosphere Crohean on Phyllis at Don Show. Kranchain Ul sail Glanslon to Allen. Say la cultor ag tradition a danish on quid ella da hail. So the, one of the big things is important is that like this life that Odiran had, it's after sticking with him. It's after going the whole way through his life, he has brought this this atmos this kind of peacefulness. Like Tasha Tonadini shop ain't the hat a They're all united to to survive. And this kind of mindset that they're on, and this atmosphere that's created on the island has stuck with all they're on. And like that alum, Irene, or they're on atmosphere, or let a crew atmosphere, and they're in doing Keiko comes up as a V on Phyllis. So, like, like I said, if you were to hear this poem for the first time, you sat down and you were given a pen and a paper, you could, you could, and like obviously, you'd have to be very good at drawing, but you'd have that, you'd be able to come up with that idea and be able to create your own kind of writing towards it and create your own kind of images and draw them like, do you know? I don't know if you saw them, I feel a foot and multuk, multuk, as tarnin, she picked her the nav air down, nav air down once again coming up, doing swini and she are in sail shim, bleed, try to shoot that, dini, agus dura, e june, then a kela. All right, so we're able to see people and nature in tune together. Mohinok Bader Octriak Tool. Okay, so just a magical kind of atmosphere is being created. And like I suppose one thing you talk about like is like imagine having so much love for a place that like you talk about that fondly. Like if you were to move away from your home and like so for example, like me, like I'm living I'm living in Wexford at the moment where I used to live in Cork, like and like I never would have kind of seen the beauty of my place the same way Odiran is seeing the beauty of his place. Do you know what I mean? Like because I I don't know what it is, but like he just has a great fondness for the area and like he really puts that across with the atmosphere that he creates in his poetry. And then you have the Mohukan, so Mohukan Sunis, Sudness and Shikan, the Mohukan is largest done. Krohin Shin atmosphere le ni Krohin of Phila Eva, the Krohan until Octa Sail Sunishave. Okay, so a peaceful, calm, 
lovely kind of life for the on the island. And obviously we have Gra Gra Arte again, Gra the Art Dukas Tasha Fi Gasa Eg Altuk Nahat. So excuse me, you would know what Fi Gasa means. Um if you did Ocean Tirnog Kur Niv Ocean Fi Gasa um for he's under the spell of the beauty of the place, of the area. The Ekishen already Jews like he doesn't see anything negative about there. Everything is it's picked a romance grover, it's a romantic loving picture. And I think we've all been there like Joel, like you you're so in love with someone that you can't see any flaws. And like that's kinda of what Odiran is like when it comes to the um comes to uh in the Shmore and in Law and Iron. Top bro like it's even as until that brass at dawn fashion. So we have Nikeshna screw the hat that have come up before. So it's come up in 2019. And we have Queenie and Felags in the Nose and Buena Said and Ilan in Oiga at Toss at Dawn and Throck here. So obviously we're talking about the Nose and like Sail and Fobel. Obviously they go over the Kayla and kind of like the picked up Darfica at Talker. At Targa. Ken Mohukan is more of Ruskaline and Dawn. So on it, Fane, how did it make you feel? Not the main emotions in the poem, but how did the poem make you feel? So that's something you need to make sure that you talk about. And like I said, you can maybe talk about or related to your home place and how it's like you don't feel the same way and you wish you did or something like that. Uh, but how did the poem make you feel? Did it make you feel calm? Did it make you feel nice? Did it make you feel whatever? But like make sure you're able to explain that it's how you feel. And then Kay come and gone, and we have the notes on Martin or Diron there from the last one. So that's 2019. Uh, 2016, and also came up. So I'm just going to um, cut a brief time on Don. So Grow Orta, um, Suvness, um, Machniv, anything like that, you can really talk about for your answer. Cut a Munkon, it's larger Illyrian on Phila. So what is the main emotion that the poet shows? And so, like, if you're going to go with Grow, for here, try not to go with Graw for the second one, maybe Broad or something like that for the Mohukan. And then I'm just going to take my head away. If Sardin on Philagalor, Adiokti, said on. So Adiokti are adjectives. Pyukakyan dun Hadiokti shin, Agstein play, Garad, Er, on Tavuk, Abunin, Lo, said on. Okay, so um, take um, two adjectives and discuss the importance that they play. Okay, and you have like Nedahana, Nefumina. Um, really much thing that you can really go with. Okay, and then the last one then we have Garbage is a Dodi who came up. Brunan Philip Usad a Fertuk as Ivana Agus Nafumina con on uh kind of will in a cre ish dig and look the doing. Alright, so we have like the Ivana and Fumina your keywords there. And that's something that you just kinda of talk about and run with really like do you know what I mean? So you're talking about your Ivana and your Fumina and once you get those like that's what you really really want to discuss through your answer. Uh, then we have the Atra repetition. So each poem or each line, each verse ends with Atra or San Arak here. And uh, what is the importance? So it's kind of it's bringing us back. Okay, we're reflecting back. It's bringing us back to the main topic of what this person is talking about, what Odiran is talking about, and that is on a rock here on Elon Aaron Nadini um Ahel Alzeg Fasinias Alzeg Marshin. Then we have Shreve, Noti, Garad, Erseilag, Erseher, and Felicia. All right, so lads, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. And um, just don't forget to give my page a like and subscribe and stuff like that. And I'll see you all very soon. Grimmie, Margaret, Slav.